So ladies and gentlemen, today we're getting two podcasts in one because I couldn't really split them because their pats and hockey were uh, parallel and, you know, because they were brothers. You played for the same WHA franchise. They came from the same part of Saskatchewan and pretty well uh, were some of the most popular Saskatchewan major pros of the early to mid-1970s. So today we're going to be talking about the curious cases of Dennis and Gene uh, Sobchuk. Now, Dennis and C. Uh, Gene Sobchuk both came from Lang, Saskatchewan. Gene was a smaller one at 5'9", 170, a left winger, while uh, Dennis was 6'2", 180, in a center. Now, we'll talk about Dennis first. Now, Dennis was born January 12, 1954, and eventually played 35 games in the NHL with the Red Wings and Nordiques. But his major prominence came in the WHA with the Phoenix Roadrunners, Cincinnati Stingers, and Edmonton Oilers. Now, uh, he is younger of, the, again, the two sons. His older brother, again, being Gene. Uh, and uh, the two played on uh, the Stingers while their father, Harry Subchuck, was the scout for the team. Now, he first came to major prominence in Major Junior when he was playing with uh, various Saskatchewan uh, squads. His uh, noted uniform number 14 is one of six numbers retired by the Regina Pats of the WHL. Now, he broke in with Weyburn and Estevan of the SGHL and the WCHL in 71. 72, his first season with the Pats, he put up some really impressive numbers. 56 goals and 67 assists for 123 points. 73, he had 147 points in 66 games, including 67 goals. 74, his draft year, where he was taken 89 overall by the Flyers, he put up 146 points in 66 games, 31 points in 16 playoff games, and 7 points in 3 Memorial Cup contests. Now, instead of going with the Flyers, they were loaded that year, decided to go with the Phoenix Roadrunners in his rookie season, put up some dynamite numbers, 77 points in 78 games, including 32 goals and 4 goals in 5 playoff games. Uh, 76, he played with the Stingers, uh, with his uh, with his brother, 72 points in 79 games, including 32 goals. 77 with the Stingers, 44 goals and 96 points uh, in 81 games. 78, he split time with Cincinnati and Edmonton, put up 11 goals in 36 games. Now, 79 is part of the Gretzky Oilers in their last uh, big uh, AFCO Cup run. Uh, he had 63 points in 74 games. Uh, including 12 points in 12 playoff games. But, of course, he lost to the Bobby Hull uh, Jets in 79. Now, he broke in with the NHL in 1980 with Detroit Red Wings, where he had 10 points in 30 true games. Also played in Adirondack when he had 10 points in 15 games, going six goals. 81, he found himself with Birmingham of the CHL and uh, E.V. Zug of the Swiss League. Now, uh, still in Europe in 82, he played with Innsbrucker EV of the Austrian League. Then back to North America where he played for three of the most popular East Coast teams. Played with the Nordiques for two games with one goal. Played with the Moncton Alpines where he had 17 points in 20 games of the IHL. And then with the Frankton Express for uh, nine games. Uh, in a regular season towards their playoff run, and he had uh, 12 points in a regular season, 9 games, and 12 points in 12 playoff games, including 8 big goals. 84 with Innsbruck EV of the Austrian League. Again, uh, he wrapped up his major pro and European pro league, uh, uh, like I said, major career. WHA totals, point of game pace, 145, 186, 331, 19 points in 25 playoff games, and in 35 games with uh, the Nordiques and the Red Wings. He had five goals and five six assists for eleven points. I always thought he'd be a, a, a be a NHL star, but you know the the, the points and uh, play he put up in the WHA more than compensated for kind of a rough uh, short term in the NHL. Now getting to Gene. Now uh, Gene played one of the one game winners of the NHL in Dave Reed's book, uh, where he played with Vancouver on December fourth, nineteen seventy three. Now, born again in Lang on February 19, 1951. He eventually played 81 games in the WHA with Phoenix and the Stingers. Now, uh, he also skated in the numerous minor leagues. Now, his his career came to major prominence with Weyburn of the SJHL in 69 and 70, and of course Regina as a teammate of his brother 
uh, in um, in 71, where he had 54 points in 66 games. He first broke into the pros after being drafted 199 overall in the 71 draft, 109 overall by the Rangers. Uh, and 71-72 uh, with the Des Moines Oak Leaf, the IHL, he had 34 points in 56 games. Back uh, to the minor leagues in 73 with Rochester, 38 points in 58 games as a Vancouver uh, prospect. 74, he also played uh, uh, with the Seattle Totems of the WHL, 34 points in 55 games, and the Virginia Wings of the AHL with 12 goals, 17 points in 18 games. Now, 75, he played with Phoenix for three games of the WHA with one goal. Then with Tulsa of the CHL, 63 points in 73 games. Now, he played with his brother, uh, Dennis, in 76 with Cincinnati. His only full season in the league and a good total, nonetheless, 42 points in 78 games. Now, 77, he played with Oklahoma City of the CHL and Springfield of the AHL for a combined 32 games, 5 goals, 11 assists for 16 points. And he wrapped up his minor pro career in the AHL yet again with the Hampton Gulls uh, in 78 with 8 points in 37 games. So uh, one game in the NHL, uh, 74 with uh, Vancouver, a very busy year for him because he played Vancouver, Seattle, Virginia. And uh, WHA again, four, 43 points in 81 games uh, over uh, two seasons. Now his first major pro goal was with Phoenix in 75. And again, those 23 goals in 76. So for the Sobchuk uh, family, both drafted the NHL. Uh, like I said, represented Lang Saskatchewan with distinction. Uh, I basically think that's kind of the unheralded brother combination of the 1970s. Uh, you could always say that, uh, um, you know, they, they had brought a lot of respect to uh, players of the Regina Pats program at the time, and Weyburn as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you, Junior uh, junior A, or what he called Tier 1 Junior, not the, the Major Junior, has a lot of respect amongst Maritimers, especially the Saskatchewan, the Ontario, and the BC Junior A leagues. And Weyburn, I can tell you, it's a very, very uh, good program through the years. And uh, I, like to, I like to mention Weyburn any chance I get because Junior A hockey has given a lot to me in my uh, media career, covering many, uh, the Maritime League, various Junior A leagues across Canada. It's a very interesting, uh, what do you call it, type of hockey. It's, it's as comparable to minor pro that you would see probably in the 1970s in a CHL, ECHL, uh, you know, a USFL, a UHL, USHL style. You would see later on. Very, very uh, great players. Just not good enough to make Major Junior, but we all got to start someplace. Even Junior B across Canada is quite good because I've covered Western Valley and other teams in New Brunswick. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. Give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you're from Saskatchewan and you're a Subchuck family, uh, family uh, what do you call it, fans, please let the people know in Saskatchewan that our pod podcast does feature many Saskatchewan players through the years please give us a request if there's any saskatchewan what do you call minor pro or major league players we're missing not just the superstars but the grinders the defensemen the the, the backup and number three goalies because saskatchewan has has provided so many great players over the years we don't want to miss anybody so thanks for listening have a good day